Hey guys, so clearly it's been like a couple days since I've posted a video, but today's video is going to be a little different because I've never done like a hair video before. Um, so I'm going to show you how I go from this to this. So this is the hairspray I use and the pick that I use. I don't know exactly where the pick is from, but my dad gave it to me. Um, so I've never done a hair video before on my channel and this is the first one I've ever done. So I don't know if you guys like it, just let me know. Um, so I'm just going to get into it a little bit about my hair. So, as you guys know, I'm mixed. My father is African American and my mom is Caucasian. And out came me. And my uncontrollable curls, which I have become to love. Um, growing up, I would always get made fun of because my hair was too crazy, too frizzy. Um, I would get, not jokes, more insults. Or backhanded compliments about my hair um, and in middle school that is when I started to straighten my hair and let me tell you the beginning was rough it was so very bad um, I wouldn't straighten my roots I could barely get to the back and my hair got a lot of heat damage to it and it killed my curls but I didn't really start legitimately straightening my hair until high school. That's when I would straighten my hair almost all the time. And I remember, I believe it was my sophomore year, I would straighten my hair every day for a whole year straight. And my curls had absolutely no life in them. And it's mostly because um, I would get made, of, made fun of for my hair. And, you know, I've never talked about this with literally anyone. Um, I know I'm supposed to be talking about how I do my fro, but I just thought, you know, I'd share the journey of my hair, I guess. Um, I didn't start really appreciating my curls until after I graduated high school. I still straighten my hair, but I don't straighten it as much as I used to. And now I use a lot of hair products and they've saved my curls. They're so nice now. They have more life. They're bouncier. They're more hydrated. I don't know what I did to fix my hair, but I'm glad I did it. Um, yeah, so that's the story about my hair. And the second reason I made this video is because I love Brad Mondo. And, you know, he has a lot of curly girls on his channel. But he doesn't really review afros, and you know, I just want to know if he likes mine, I guess. Or if he could just rate it, I guess you could say. And see if like my technique is good, I don't know. And um, if he ever does see this video, can you tell me what kind of curls I have? Because I have no idea. Um, growing up mixed, you kind of just don't really know a lot about your hair and how to take care of it or how to really wear it and um i'm in my 20s and i've been experimenting with my hair a lot more while it's curly you know i still live in my braids and i still wear my curls natural sometimes i have them tamed just so you know i don't look nappy i guess i don't know but i don't know i like my hair I like wearing the afro. I wear my afro at least like four times a month and I spend a lot of money on hairspray. <laughs> you can imagine how many bottles of hairspray I go through because I use a lot to keep it in the shape. And I get asked if I sleep in my afro. Yeah, I do. Um, I just fix it in the morning. Um, and I get asked how long it takes to do my afro. Normally about an hour and 30 minutes. Um, I don't like to try to pick it while it's wet. It doesn't do anything. I like to wait until it's fully dry and I get all my curls in one go. Um, so this is me just um, starting to shape it. 
The shaping is what takes the longest. It takes longer than picking, at least on my personal opinion for my own head, just because I don't have that kind of curl. Um, I like the more neat and round shape when it comes to myself because it's just my personal preference. I do like wild and free afros so very much, but when I do it with my hair, it just doesn't look good. Um, I will say, since my hair is rather long and different, and it's not the typical African hair because I'm not 100%, um, it's fairly long and my curls are... They're tight, but they're not super tight. So. I will run my pick through and I still won't get those hairs, but that's okay. I just hairspray them. Well, this is the finished product, guys. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I lost my tripod, so this is how we're doing this. But, um, yeah. What do we think? <laughs> um, Brad Mondo, if you ever see this, um, thanks <laughs> for rating the fro, I guess. I don't know. Um, I would love to see more afros on his channel, honestly. Also, I my eyelash, let's not talk about it. Let's pretend like it's perfect. Same with the eyeliner on my left eye, but it's fine. It's fine. But, um, yeah, this is my fro. And, um, I hope you guys like it. And if you do, um, maybe you guys will see it more often. I do wear my afro co-white a lot, um, in my personal everyday life. But, um, I don't like wearing it in the summer because it's really, really hot. <laughs> and it's a lot of hair. Like, I'm sure my hair has grown since the last time I did an afro. But, um, I really do hope you guys enjoy this, um. Sorry I haven't been posting much, um, I just haven't had ideas to post, so. But, uh, we all know I couldn't get, do Black History Month without this. But, um, yeah, I love you guys. Bye!